What's up everyone? With a backdoor plan in place for week three, multiple showmancers blossoming, and Izzy being... Izzy! We've got so, so much to talk about, so welcome to your live feed update. Now, right before we get started, if you are new around here, please hit the subscribe button. We have a goal here, folks. The TV Talks with Tom People. We want to backdoor the YouTube algorithm into the nether region. So join me by hitting the like button because it helps me out more than you even know. Hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get notified every single time a brand new upload goes live. Starting off today with a super important update. Now, America, she's in the kitchen and she's talking about how a couple years back she was part of this competition. They had an app. I think about over a million people were involved. Um, you download an app. You, I'm, I'd, I'll demonstrate right now. Download an app. This isn't a phone, by the way. Um, you put your finger on the button on the phone. And you don't let go. Hmm. Where have we heard that before in Big Brother World? Is it something called the pressure cooker that might be happening tomorrow night? Keep your finger on the button. Don't let go. America kept her finger on the app for 46 hours. I'm very excited for tomorrow night. There's been all this talk about how, you know, the 2023 pressure cooker is going to be nothing, you know, on the 2005 pressure cooker. And I'll admit... Maybe those thoughts had crossed my mind and I thought, oh, I really do hope we get, you know, a long ass time. I think it was 14 hours last time. Everyone's going, oh, it's only going to be 45 minutes this time. I hope not. And especially hearing that, as long as there's somebody else just as determined as America, I would like to see how long she can go. 46 hours. I don't know if even production would allow that, but it would be incredible. And it would make headline news. Oh, I'm getting excited about tomorrow night. But even, you know, if that doesn't come to fruition, I still want to congratulate America because that's bloody impressive doing that for 46 hours. And she didn't even win this thing as well. Apparently there was like a 20 grand prize at the end or something like that. Um, at the end of this, there's a quarter, uh, three quarters of a million uh, prize. So... I think there's more incentive to keep your finger on that button, especially for HOH this week. So, good luck to America. I'm liking her more and more every single day, and I'm certainly rooting for her in the pressure cooker tomorrow, but 46 hours. Give it up for America, y'all. Okay, folks, because tonight is the night when two become one. Jag and Blue went under the covers and had a make-out sesh. Um, we also saw the covers going... It looks wrong at one point, but something poking up. Um, of course, everyone spiralled and went, Oh my god, they're doing that. I believe it was just Jared clicking his fingers. And that's not a euphemism for tugging the snake or whatever you want to call it. I think he clicked his fingers. Um, as far as I'm aware, Blue didn't go near the snake. Um, I think they just had a make-out sesh. They put over the, the blankets and made out. So... It continues to beg the question, is Blue really playing Jared or is she genuinely into him? Because she's expressed both sides of those things, so it's very, very hard to consolidate on which one Blue's doing. In my opinion, I feel like she started it as like a let's play Jared, but then like I think she got into it and yeah. It's not exactly like Blue strategizes a lot anyway. You know? They don't, they don't, they ain't doing a lot. Jared or Blue. But yes, they had a makeout sesh under the blankets. Um, I really don't know where I'm going with this update. There really isn't much game to say apart from they had a makeout sesh under the blankets. And Jared clicked his fingers under the blankets, which again, you dirty-minded people, is not a euphemism. Clicking your, clicking one's fingers under one's blanket is definitely not a euphemism. Let me confirm that right now. Clicking one's fingers under one's blanket... Okay, I'm, I've said it too many times now. It really sounds like a euphemism. 
Now, with Heisen being the backdoor plan this week, and he's officially on the block, of course, he has started doing the rounds and talking about that he had the people who he feels has betrayed him. You know, Izzy, Sari, all these people um, who have betrayed him. You know, not feels have, they have betrayed him. Anyways, um, Izzy then confronts Heisen out in the open. It wasn't like they pulled each other to the side. Like, she went right up to him and said, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then, like, Heisen was like, what? And then she's like, screw you. Screw you. I felt bad for you last night. Now, while I like seeing drama, I don't know what Izzy was thinking. I mean, what'd you expect? You can't betray someone, then, you know, expect them to be loyal still. Things are getting juicy. Not just under the blankets. Fingers are being clicked above the blankets as well. Um... Yeah, I don't know. That's uh, that's an interesting one. But, I mean, not the greatest player from Izzy there. But it's great entertainment, isn't it, folks? Yeah, I don't know. But I don't know what Izzy expects. You can't betray someone and then expect them to be loyal to you. But, yes, she had an official outburst. It was a, screw you. Screw you. I felt bad for you last night. And then she just stormed off. She's so chaotic. Which makes for great live feeds. Imagine if you won HOH. What do y'all think? Heading into tomorrow, who do you want to win the HOH competition? Who Who's your money on to win the pressure cooker? Not only with Heisen, but Izzy clashed with uh, Jared last night. And um, it was mainly about... It, it felt slightly petty. It felt like siblings kind of arguing. Um, and... It was kind of about... I got, I got the vibe, at least, anyway, because it felt so petty, but I felt like it was rooted in people having, like, side deals, side alliances outside of a big alliance. And Jared was getting real annoyed with Izzy about this, you know. What about Jared and Blue? And, I don't know, I, I just want to rewind for a second. I thought Jared said that females were emotional. Who's the one being emotional now, Jared? I'm really not a fan of that dude. I'm really not a fan of him at all. Um, it's a valid thing to be annoyed about. But he's literally got a side thing with Blue. Both in the game. I'm going to say it on a personal level as well. From what I've heard. Um, and I know Izzy, yeah, Izzy's argumentative. Izzy ends up in a lot of confrontations with people. But it's just what this was about. Felt like, come on, Jared, like, for everything he preaches, he's not even holding himself up to his, like, own standard there, you know. Females are emotional. And he's having a problem with side lines and side deals and all that kind of stuff when he's literally got probably the biggest one in the house with Blue. Clicking those fingers under the blanket. Now, at one point, Blue offered to be a pawn against America uh, in a future week. I think a lot of people will be targeting America next week, which is all the more reason she needs to hold on to that button. I'm honestly rooting for her to win the pressure cooker at this point. Heism's a lost cause. I think Heism's going to be backdoored tomorrow night. I want to see America win. She held on to that button for 46 hours. I know as soon as she sees that pressure cooker, because she's a big brother nerd, she knows the game so well. As soon as she sees that pressure cooker, she'll be in the zone. I'm re I would really put the money on her. I just hope she catches wind of the fact that I think a lot of people will target her next week. She has definitely been a casualty of um, collateral damage this week with all the names being thrown around and Heism trying to pin everything on America. And Yeah, I, I really do hope she wins the pressure cooker and I think she can. But yeah, a lot of people have got her name in their mouth. Let's hope she comes through, wins the pressure cooker... And then it throws a total wrench in the works of the week. You know, just when we think things are getting predictable. Mm -mm -mm, America wins HOH by keeping her finger on the button for hopefully more than 46 hours. But I doubt it. I'm rooting for her in the pressure cooker tomorrow night. That is all of your live feed updates for today, folks. I thoroughly hope you all enjoyed watching and I appreciate you all. Thank you for the continued support. Love you all. Um, means the world to me that you all come out every single day and support. Um, yeah, thank you. Sending hugs and love to you all. Now, um, let me know your thoughts, guys. I want to hear what everyone's thinking. Who do you want to be um, evicted tomorrow night? Cameron or Heism? 
Um, it feels like Cameron's kind of fallen into the background recently. And who do you want to win head of household? Are you going to be ready for the pressure cooker? Have you got your coffee ready? Have you got your energy drinks stocked up? Because I am so ready for tomorrow night. Let's do it. I'm. S Last time this happened was, I believe, 2005. Correct me if I'm wrong there. Big Brother 6 was 2005, right? I'm excited as hell. I was I was a young age there. I was three. I wasn't a Big Brother fan at that point. Well, I feel like Big Brother's in my DNA, but... Yeah. I eh, wasn't aware of it yet. I hadn't had my origin story. Um, but I am ready. I'm ready for tomorrow night. Ready to watch the pressure cooker. And hopefully ready to watch America kick ass. Let's do it, guys. Um, but thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you all. I hope that you're all staying safe, staying positive, and staying healthy out there. And remember to be kind to one another. And also, let me remind you, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, do all of that wonderful stuff. But until your next live feed update, I've been your host, Tom Vasey. Good night.